All right, guys, we're shooting on the fly right now. So there's this little key slot rivet that actually ripped off the face of this. You can see this one here. I can't weld it on. This is actually designed to be riveted from the backside before it's assembled. It's a clever design. It's actually quite, it's a good design, but whoever riveted it on just didn't do it well enough. So I'm gonna do a blind rivet through the front center of this and get it popped riveted on this way. And if you're not familiar with blind rivets, this is an actually blind rivet. So as this, what looks like a nail is pulled through, it actually swells up the back and you can actually see this one, how that is actually swells and will lock it into sheet metal. Blind rivets have a better bite than screws do just because a screw only has like one thread locking it into thin sheet metal. Well, this has an entire swelled collar. I've had great experience with these little eighth inch rivets. They are very strong compared to screws and especially small sheet metal screws, but I'm talking sheet metal. But uh, now I need to mark this thing centered because I have to drill the center out. But instead of marking center, we're going to use a little trick to see if we can mark it quickly with just my drill and the abrasive. All right, we got ourselves a center point now. Let's set and punch it and drill it. All right, so there it is. Got my little center punch. Let's go ahead and start drilling it. We're gonna be using eighth inch rivet, pouring it out with an eighth inch drill bit. Job done. So that little piece, I thought about welding on, but just not possible. It's just too difficult to try to get a weld behind the head of that rivet. But blind rivets are fantastic. They're very strong and that thing was riveted on originally. So again, what's the difference? It was always riveted. So guys, I'm wrapping this on up. It was a quick little job, but just because something's quick doesn't mean the guy doing it is not good at his job. I'm good at my job, and I've done a lot of crazy stuff in uh, my career history. Things that I should, probably shouldn't mention either, so don't ask any questions. All right, later on, guys, please give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. It really helps.